Chris Hatcher, Xactimate Certified Trainer here with TopAdjuster.com to run you quickly through how to create an internal time and materials report from an estimate that already exists. Once the estimate is complete, go to the print button at the top right of your screen. The estimate reports window pops up and whatever you normally select will be in this report type window, final draft or whatever you use. Make sure you select internal TAM, that's time and material. If I want the entire project to run through the TAM, I just leave everything alone and click view or print and create the report. If I want specific trades to show up, I can filter according to those trades or categories. So I'm going to click on filter just to show you how to do that. Click on the edit button just beneath filtered. And under categories I can click select and pick any trade I want to create a time and material report for at this point. I would be creating a cleaning TAM. If I wanted to say cleaning floor covering carpet and vinyl, I can hold the control key down and select multiple trades and click OK and now those three trades would be in my report. I'm going to click cancel because I want the whole project to show up in this example for the video, but that is very handy when you need it. So I'm going to click not filtered and then view. It's going to take a second here and you'll see this project on the surface looks a lot like any project we would create. But you'll see here line item number one, remove drywall. It's 1A and 1B is replace the drywall. The reason is the system wants to show that you have no material cost for this line item. You may have an equipment cost there and you may not. You'll certainly have labor for removal. But our number of hours assumed, our labor rate, our labor burden, and our total labor costs are here, the square foot of the job that's being done, and our total hard cost is over here off to the right. You'll see that split over and over and over, and this does coincide with the line item numbers in your estimates. So line item number one is split into 1A and 1B, and 2 is 2A and 2B, and so on. I did leave, I'm going to scroll through here, I left my base service charges in so I could show you this. They are split out if they're, if they're applied individually on my summary page. So I've got my line item total, my base service charges total, and then my total material sales tax. So all those combined equals my replacement cost value total for the cost of the job. Hopefully you find this useful. If you have any questions or if I can help you, email me at chris at topadjuster.com or visit us at topadjuster.com. We'd be more than happy to help you with any Xactimate training needs you might have.